Are you wondering how much milk thistle is safe? Is a thousand milligrams too much, too little? My name is Dr. Terranella, and in this video, we're going to look at what the safety is of milk thistle specifically. We're going to talk about how much milk thistle is safe and how you might go about using milk thistle. So if you're interested in learning more about health, nutrition, hormones, and just overall optimizing your health, click on the like button and don't forget to subscribe to the channel to get more videos like this one. Now for a quick disclaimer, the information contained in this video is for informational purposes only. It is not intended as a treatment for any health condition or as a substitute for seeing an actual doctor or a medical professional. It should be used as an educational guide to deepen your understanding of health and treatment success. If you need medical attention, don't delay in seeking that treatment. All right, let's look at the safety of milk thistle. So in this video, I want to look at how much milk thistle is safe. Can you take 1,000 milligrams, 1,400 milligrams, 2,000 milligrams? What is the safe dose of milk thistle? So we're going to look at two different things that address this, a review article, which is here. Also some animal studies that look at the lethal dose or LD50 of milk thistle. So first, I want to look at this animal studies that looked at the LD50 of milk thistle. So LD50 is the amount of a substance that you have to give in order to kill off 50% of the animals in the study. So usually this is done in, in looking at the toxicity of a substance before it's given to humans. So for milk thistle, it just so happens that the LD50 is really, really high. In this study, it tells us all about that. So they looked at the toxicity of milk thistle in mice, rats, rabbits, and dogs, and they did it through intravenous administration. So that means that the oral dose would probably be much higher since you're going to absorb 100% in intravenous. But anyways, the LD50 values are 400 milligrams per kilogram in mice and 385 milligrams per kilogram in rats, 140 milligrams per kilogram in rabbits and dogs. So those are really large doses. If you wanted to sort of translate this into your own body, you might look at the smallest number here for rabbits and dogs, 140 milligrams per kilogram. So it's a huge amount of milk thistle. Most of the time we're doing, you know, a couple hundred milligrams, maybe a thousand milligrams. And it just tells you how low the toxicity of milk thistle is. Now, I definitely wouldn't advocate for someone taking nearly that amount, but just so you have an idea what the overall toxicity for milk thistle is very low. Now, this review article kind of gives you a better understanding of what the overall toxicity is and how safe it is. So this is just a summary here, but silymarin is the main active ingredient in milk thistle. It says silymarin is safe in humans at therapeutic doses and well tolerated even at high doses. They considered high dose uh, 700 milligrams three times a day for 24 weeks. So most people, you know, if you're using it for some sort of toxicity or something going on with your liver, you may not be using it for nearly that long. Now, some people take it on an ongoing basis for other non-toxicity reasons, but the main thing that you want to think about when you're considering something like milk thistle is generally it's going to be used for your liver, and you want to find out why your liver enzymes or your liver is having difficulty to begin with. Make sure it's not coming from more of a muscle issue, and make sure it's actually uh, liver damage, and then you want to remove that substance or problem that's causing the liver enzymes to be high to begin with and not just cover it up with milk thistle. Milk thistle can help your liver. It's protective for the liver. It helps increase your body's production of glutathione and it's very well tolerated. But in the interest of getting to the cause and making your overall functioning of your body work at its peak, I would recommend finding out what the cause is for the elevated liver enzymes. You can check out my other videos on elevated liver enzymes if you're interested in figuring that out. Okay, that's all I had for you in this video, how much milk thistle is safe. If you do have other questions on this topic, drop it in the comment section. I, may do a, I might do a separate video on that topic. Thanks again for watching. We'll see you next time.